Our next speaker this morning is Honorable David McRae, Republican. He's our state treasurer of the state of Mississippi. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Still not too hot. It feels good today. Well, look, uh, before I get into uh, my speech and everything going on at the Treasury, I want to, of course, always as I start these, thank my wife who's here today in the front row right there, Katie. As I've always said, politics is a team sport. And without Katie, and Katie's really the Michael Jordan of this, I'm, I'm maybe the Scottie Pippen of this, but without Katie, none of this is possible. And I'm so glad she's with me, uh, stuck with me all this time, but I'm so glad she's here today. So let's get down to business. And uh, today, I wanna talk about what we're doing at the Treasury. And we got a lot of great, exciting announcements to make today. Uh, if you're on my email list, you've already seen them. If you're not, you're gonna hear them for the first time today. And I think they're great. And really, you know, I'm glad I'm the first statewide speaker today because you're going to hear a lot about national politics and Donald Trump and everything. And I'm, and I'm glad I get to be the first one to talk about it because we're going to, we have a bad problem in this country. We have rising inflation, rising grocery costs, rising costs in general. And I believe we could be heading on the right path in November and if, by electing a conservative Republican for uh, president. And if we don't, I, God knows what's going to happen in the next four years. But that's the national government. I'm concerned about the state government. And at the state treasury, I firmly believe we are fueling Mississippi's economy for the future. And I have proof for this right here, right now. I can happy to announce we have made, in one year alone, on our investments, $375 million. That will help the taxpayers. That will make sure we don't have to borrow money. That will make sure our economy flourishes for years to come. But let's not stop there. In unclaimed property, last year I was here and was bragging about uh, giving out $75 million. I thought that was great, Let, but I don't settle. Let's do better. So we, this year, this in July, I am proud to announce we have given back a hundred million dollars to the state of Mississippi. That is a record that has never been done in the state, in the history of Mississippi, and that we should be proud of that. That gives money back to people uh, who, like I said earlier, rising costs of gas, rising costs of groceries. This is a little bit of money in their, po in their pocket to uh, get them to, to the next day. And if you're here today and want to look up and see if you have unclaimed property, you're bored by any of the speeches or just want to do it, go to treasury.ms.gov, look your name up. Who knows? Average Mississippian has $2,100, and I, I, I bet you're going to have some. So on top of that, Let's go to one other thing that I am probably the most proud of, because a couple years ago when I was running for office in 19, I had someone come up to me and say, you know, David, look, I have a, a legacy impact fund, and I'm really concerned. I'm worried that it will not be there, and the state of Mississippi will be on the hook for paying it. Uh, he had figured out the numbers, and I later figured out he was right. It was going to cost roughly $125 million to fix impact when I took office. It was 72% funded. Today, I am proud to announce the Legacy Fund, if you're part of that, it is 99.7% funded, almost 100% funded today. The newer plan, if you're part of that, it's 145% funded. These are funds that affect Mississippi, affect education, and we want people to stay here, have a great life, and these are great funds to do that, and they are safe and secure going forward under my leadership. Now, one other thing before I get to kind of some of our challenges ahead, I, I, I do the good stuff first because that's, but we do have challenges. But one thing I really want to talk about, um, as we all know, on October 7th, Israel was attacked by a terrorist group, Hamas and Hezbollah. And, you know, it actually really affected me. And I've talked to Katie, and uh, I was surprised really how much it affected me. I remember, it was a bunch, if you, let's go back a minute. It was a bunch of 20-year-olds having fun at a music festival, having fun, trying to forget the world existed just for a little while. And I remember being 20. I remember going to music festival concerts and just having fun, letting go and whatnot. But 
they were attacked. They were slaughtered. They were taken hostages. And a hundred are still hostage today. And I thought to myself, what could Mississippi do for Israel? And, you know, the Lord works in very mysterious ways. We have something in Mississippi called the Israeli Defense Act. It was started under the Phil Bryan administration, and it allowed us to invest in Israel a roughly about $20 million. Well, like I said, the Lord works in very mysterious ways, and it was up for renewal this year. So I thought, what better way, and let's increase what we can invest into Israel. Let's rebuild Israel with Mississippi, Mississippians rebuilding Israel. So we have increased what we can invest into Israel to $50 million. We will help rebuild Israel's infrastructure when it is time. We support Israel. Mississippi supports Israel. I support Israel. And we will, going forward, help Israel as much as we possibly can. Now, focusing back on us here in Mississippi, we do have some challenges ahead. We are financially, strategically financially secure in Mississippi. Our rainy day fund is more flush with cash than in the history of the rainy day fund. Our economy is boosted to unprecedented levels in Mississippi. Uh, actually, if you want a number, since I was about 13 years old, we have more money in the bank here in Mississippi than we've had since I was 13 years old. However, and we also have a great credit rating so that we can uh, borrow money when we have to eventually do a bond deal. However, as I said earlier, the rising cost of inflation, cost of living is up 18%, wages and take-home pay is down, and if the federal government does not get its uh, book straight, does not get its house in order, we will eventually see that take more effect in Mississippi, but we need to make sure, again, in November, we put in a conservative leader who can make sure our economy can go forward and help people out going as we go forward in the future. <laughs> Mississippi is in great financial shape and also great shape working-wise. At, at the Treasury, we have a program, uh, college and career savings. We are seeing more people go into vocational and tech training than we ever have before. This newest generation, they want to work. They want to go, and instead of going to a four-year college, they're getting great vocational training. And vocational training is not just blue-collar jobs, it's white-collar jobs as well, going in server maintenance, things of that nature. And we're seeing people, that means we're just going to have to invest in the workforce. That means we're going to have to focus on education like vocational training, or focus on doing great jobs to keep kids here in Mississippi. And also means we need to invest in Mississippi's businesses that are already here by keeping, again, I can't state it enough, kids here in Mississippi to keep working so we can go forward to help our economy. As I said earlier, our economy is in great shape, but it won't be if we don't keep businesses here in Mississippi. Our industry in Mississippi is on timeless, uh, well, good uh, resources, timber, agriculture, manufacturing, industry. And as long as we invest in that, invest in people who will work there, we will prosper in this state. And at the Treasury, we're going to push those jobs for the future. And just to give you some stats, because I love stats and numbers to you know, hammer this home, a dental hygienist roughly makes $99,000. An electrician roughly makes $65,000. A nurse makes $60,000 on average. That's more than a starting attorney when I graduated law school. That's more than most people who graduate a four-year college will make. And these are people who are going to two-year institutions and they're making money and having no debt. So let me kind of close up here and uh, say that I believe we're going on the right, uh, right direction. Mississippi is heading in an unprecedented direction economically, financially, and at the treasurer. Treasury, we will do whatever it takes to make sure that continues for the next three years. I appreciate it. This is one of the best times. I love coming to the fair. I've enjoyed it tremendously. And God bless you all. God bless the United States. And God bless Mississippi. Thank you.